we joined by one authority of course uh, mr s hazra chairman and managing director of shipping corporation of india uh, joining us on the phone line mr hazra i many thanks for joining in for for the space as a whole mr hazra the downtick that we've seen in the baltic draw over the last 9 to 10 days how 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 bad could it become no actually you know we have been talking about uh, china having a large inventory of iron ore and is likely to cut down on their import china has been the main catalyst always for either the upturn or the downturn of the dry bulk indices so i reckon this is only an indication of that of course uh, what you are talking of 3 3 and 1/2% you know is a reflection true reflection of the 3 3 and 1/2% uh, fixtures all over the world uh, you know rates being uh, lower to that extent uh, but of course we must realize that uh, you know shipping is highly cyclic and highly volatile so this kind of uh, up and downs will be there and uh, we like any other ship owner we have been having vessels on long term time charter contract of treatment and on spot so the vessels which are on spot get immediately affected but the vessels which are on long term time charter or contract of treatment they do not get immediately affected fair enough uh, how how big a factor mr hazra uh, Mr. Hazra, how big a factor would be oversupply for the depressed freight rates? Uh, would that continue to uh, augur poorly for freight rates? And what's what's the general outlook on the tanker business uh, in, in your eyes? Uh, basically, for tanker, dry bulk, as well as container business, the problem of the supply side pressure and the order book uh, today being the largest any time ever. will definitely cause concern for the shipping industry but since the rates are hovering at very very low level particularly in container i don't think it can go down any further rather it is slightly going up in terms of tanker also since march we have suffered quite a big setback and i don't think it will go down any further but at the same time because of the supply side pressure i do not expect too much of an improvement in the next almost one one and a half years so definitely for shipping the overall situation in the immediate foreseeable future is not very bright right mr hazra you pointed out that uh, spot rates of course uh, see an immediate impact uh, of uh, such a supply uh, demand mismatch uh, uh, you know from a 6 months perspective uh, where do you see rates uh, from the current levels uh, much lower you think this uh, a uh, phenomenon of uh, you know excessive supply will continue to impact rates on the downside uh, spot as well as a long term contract so well, i mean definitely as i said already i don't see rates looking i mean looking up going up but at the same time since rates as it is are hovering at very low level i don't see them going down any further and when it comes to tankers in 2000 and as we know that a large uh, you know segment of single hull tall tanker will be filled out in most parts of the world so that will again bring back some kind of equilibrium in the tanker market so 2010 onwards again tanker market is likely to improve to some extent